Okay, Butch, I'm a, I'm a typical cons consumer, okay? And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, whether I need new equipment or not. What I'd like you to do is explain to me what are some of the, th how the industry is going in terms of when people get new equipment. I know you call it a change out, okay? So when a guy looks at a house, there's a beautiful house here. He's going he's gonna to come to the house, the typical technician is going to, 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 to make some decisions about what equipment typically, is going in the house. Yes, typically what, they, what they're going to do is they're going to ask you, one, the square footage of the house, two, they're going to look at the existing equipment and they're going to judge their proposal based on the answers to one of those two questions. A heat load and a cooling load evaluation is so important. This house, given that it may be 3,000 some odd square feet, it's 140 years old. Another house that is 3,000 square feet may be in only a matter of 20 years old. The heat load and the cooling load are going to be at extreme opposite ends for those two structures. And if they typically just base it on a square footage question or on something that's already existing where somebody has made a mistake in the past, then in an application like this it could be extremely undersized. In an application of a 20 year old home or less, it could be extremely oversized. So doing a proper evaluation of the structure itself and a heat load calculation is the only way to do it properly.